Well, hello. I'm on my iPad today, and you might be wondering why. Well, you'll see why in a minute. But I wanted to talk today just briefly about the fountain pen hobby and why you might be interested in getting into fountain pens, and more importantly, what, what do you do with them once you have them? Well, I'll tell you, give you a couple ideas what I do with my fountain pens now that I have them. Uh, one of the things I like to do is write letters. If you get on Fountain Pen Network, and probably uh, Fountain Pen Geeks, uh, there are places you can look at. There's actually a special forum on Fountain Pen Network where you can get pen pals. Now, oh yeah, there's my email on my computer. I need to press mute when I record videos, but I never think of it. Anyway, uh, speaking of email, you know, email is a nice way to get in touch with people and contact them and real quick say, oh, I'm stopping by at 12, especially for somebody like me that doesn't own a cell phone yet. But uh, the main thing with email is it's kind of lacks that personal touch. Well, if if you if uh, you write somebody, that's something you can sh uh, keep. You can reread. I not a letter keeper. If you're my pen pal reading this, I hope I'm not offending you. But I really don't keep letters very long. Uh, but anyway, you can find people looking for pen pals. I'm on there somewhere. Uh, I probably have too many right now, but. Uh, that's kind of interesting. You know, I'm in contact with people from actually different parts of the United States and a few people in Europe. Or no, one in Europe, one in uh, Argentina, and one in Singapore. Sorry, get that straight. Um, anyway, that's uh, a neat thing you can do. You can just write to people. People actually like getting letters. Now, they don't always write them, but they do like getting them. Uh... Unless it's something really timely that you need to get hold of them right now. Maybe pick up the phone or email them. Uh, but that's one thing you can do. Another thing I do, and this is part of why we're on the iPad today, is I, I film uh, fountain pen reviews. Now, I, I find that interesting. One of the things that's helped me do is see myself as others see me, uh, hear my voice, and rethink I present myself in public, I guess. Uh, like I just did there, uh, guess what? I'm noticing when I do that now. All right, but uh, I film reviews. So let, let's, let's flip the iPad around. I'll show you my basic filming setup. Yes, I have a glass of water. Uh, my filming setup, what I do is I have the camera, have a microphone on it. I'm actually downloading video right now from something I recorded. I always have to have it hooked to the computer, that way I can see myself. So when you see me looking in weird directions, it's because I'm looking at the computer to make sure I'm on screen, in focus and everything. And of course I always stand right there. Later, I will sit down at a TV tray type table like that. And uh, I put the camera over it, which since I'm downloading video right now you can't see that. But it's the same camera, same tripod. I just tip the camera straight down, uh, have the tripod s s straddle the table, and I write. Now it films everything upside down. So then what I do is I get it onto the computer, and I rotate the whole thing 180 degrees. Oops, something just blew over in the kitchen. I rotate the whole thing 180 degrees, and then I use iMovie and crop because that that's all. Uh, close-ups and such and with the lenses I have I can't do really good close-ups because most of my work is landscapes and sports so you know you don't use close-up lenses for that stuff so I, I crop a little to get close-ups but that's how I film my writing samples um, now another thing I like to use my fountain pens for is just general writing like I have a review planned I haven't filmed it yet but it's for the Twisby Classic I wrote the, my notes in fountain pen. I write just about everything in fountain pen. Grocery lists, uh, notes at meetings, notes in classes I take, uh, reminders. Pretty much everything is fountain pen. Once in a while you have to use a ballpoint for various reasons because of the paper, or because of the form, because it's carbon paper even in the 21st century. But for the most part I use a fountain pen for just about all my writing. And then uh, some people like poetry, some people do art. I occasionally will do a sketch, but I actually, if I'm going to do anything artistic, I prefer to use pencil, but that's just me. Sorry if you're a fountain pen purist, but I'm not going to do art with a fountain pen. I prefer pencil. 
And then, my big one is writing. Now, how much do I like writing? Well, let's go on a quick trip. So I'm going to switch to the rear camera of this, and I think I have to press stop to do that. Rear camera. Uh, there's the pens I'm in the process of reviewing. So as far as writing, and obviously reading, here is about half of the notebooks for my current novel. And there's more hidden around somewhere, but I've mislaid them. Pardon the mess here in the kitchen. My parents just left, and the house is a little bit of a shambles. So let's go down and see the rest. Oh, this is looking creepy. Yep, I'm going down into the basement. If you can see the stairs now, you'd be a little scared for my safety. Uh, they are super steep. So let's come back here to this dismal part of my basement. This box is filled with notebooks, so full that those two don't even fit in it. And what I do there is, uh, that's nine novels. Well, almost nine, because guess what's over here? Some more notebooks that don't fit in the box. Now, the box underneath it is actually my tax records, so that's unrelated. But those notebooks are all novels. So, nine novels that I've written since I was a freshman in high school. Let's switch this around. You're just looking at my mess and getting jealous. So, nine novels that I've written since I was a freshman in high school. And, <laughs> we get if we go back far enough, you're actually going to find some stuff in there I wrote from 8th grade back to elementary school. Because what I used to do, I used to write some Doctor Who type stuff. I used to write some Star Trek stuff. I think if I burrow in there enough, you're going to find an outline for a murder mystery set in 1920s Sturgeon Lake, Minnesota, which is a town that does not exist. Uh, and I wrote that in 8th grade. So, uh, my whole, I, I have a lot of writing in there. Now, is it all fountain pen? Honestly, no. I tended, to, especially when I was younger, to switch back and forth whether I could get hold of ink or not between fountain pen and uh, ballpoint. And, you know, every so often I just see a nifty pen and say, oh, I'm going to write with that for a while. But, it's all in that box and scattered around. And as you can see, it's off the floor. I, I really should take my taxes off the floor, too, in case it's a basement. You know, they flood every so often. But that's what I love to do with my fountain pen. Is that more than anything is just to write novels. I uh, do most of my writing itself in Noodler's Black with, uh, well, right now it's a Lamy 2000. But over, and before I got that, I used different pens. But basically in black. Parker Quink before I got into Noodler's. Uh, but, uh, novel writing, just, <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. I, that's, that's what I love to do with my writing. Uh, after I'm done, of course, I learned the hard way. Don't do your second draft in fountain pen, then it's time to start typing, which is where I'm at now that I'm doing the third draft and only now am I typing the thing. But, uh, yeah, so I hope I gave you a few ideas and maybe a small insight into my world and... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this will show up here, but yes, by the way, totally off the subject, but you see the dryer pipe there? There used to be a dryer in that corner. I got rid of it. Quit working, had uh, some issues with the furniture company, and I said, you know what? <laughs> We're not going to use a dryer anymore. There it goes. So, I have horrible steps, horrible steep, uneven steps, and I, and, uh, a couple years ago, I got a lot of writing done because I fell down the, yeah, uneven, see? I fell down these steps and ended up fracturing my humerus, which was not as funny as it sounds. And pretty much couldn't garden or do anything else on into October. So, uh, yeah, that destroyed an entire summer. So, I hope this was interesting, and uh, we'll see you later.